Hello guys, so in today's video we're going to be talking about the 40 on saltwater tank again and the fact that I have put three fish in this, which is a purple orchid right there. I also have a pearly lockjaw and then I have a yellow goby in here now. Yes, I know it's a little bit soon to be getting fish, although the beneficial bacteria has already started growing, which I'll show you now. So right here, there's a speck of algae on the glass, and these are all over the place in this tank. I mean, there has to be like 50 or 60 of them at this point. And then also, you can see these little food pellets, which have all kinds of beneficial bacteria all over them. It's like a little cloud of nasty stuff just eating away at them. Which is good, actually, because it means that they're breaking down this waste material. Here's another food pellet with it around it, although it is very difficult to see, you can still see it. You can see how there's like a little, little layer of stuff around the actual food pellet, and that layer is the beneficial bacteria. This is the tank a few days later, and you can really see the algae growth is starting to kick up. Now without any further ado, let's get to talking about the fish. So I got these fish on separate days. I got the yellow goby a day before I got the purple orchid and the pearly lockjaw. And uh, the reason for that is the fish weren't on sale when I went to get the goby, and then the next day they went on sale, so I went back for some more fish. But anyways, here's the yellow goby, now it's time to start getting him acclimated. Now, I'm going to be drip acclimating my saltwater fish, which is why I recommend you do, and that basically means I take a hose, put it in the tank, put the air half in the bucket, and then slowly drip water into the bucket. And what this does is it'll slowly adjust the water that the, the fish is used to, to the water in my tank. So now I'm going to be adding the goby. Depending on how fast the drip is on your drip acclimation, it can take quite a while to acclimate your fish. Uh, I mean anywhere from 30 minutes to 2 hours. But the longer the better because the longer your fish has to adjust to the, uh, the differences in the water, then the better off they're going to be. I usually aim for about an hour and a half of drip acclimation time before the fish goes into the tank. Without any further ado, let's add the goby in. And there he goes. Now like I said, I don't have a lot of footage of this guy in the tank because he did hide and I haven't seen him in like four days since I put him in there. I am quite concerned about him, although he did seem to be relatively healthy when I add him to the tank, so hopefully he's still alive in there and I will update you in the next video on how he's doing. Oh, and I kind of forgot about this, but I also bought two urchins, one for the 29 gallon saltwater tank and one for the 40 gallon tank. These guys won't really be mentioned in this video, but just know if you see this in a future video, that's why. This video was taken roughly four days after the previous one, and I just want to say they're both doing absolutely wonderful eating and just surviving well. Here's a quick video of the purple orchid and the pearly lockjaw in their bags before I stuck them in the bucket. And here they are in their doomed bucket. As you can see, they were both extremely stressed out at this point and having a very bad day. Now it's time to put them in. There goes the purple orchid and here he is inside the tank. He's absolutely beautiful. And here's the pearly lockjaw. As you can tell, he is horrible to get on camera. I don't know why, but uh, I just, I cannot seem to get any good footage of this guy. He's extremely camera shy. But uh, besides that fact, he seems to be doing really well. He has eaten, I've seen him eat. So besides the fact that he's camera shy, he seems to be doing really good. And here's the new filtration. It is a Fluval 207 canister filter. It works like a beauty. You can look up the specs online if you want to, but I think it does like 200 gallons an hour or something like that. And uh, I got it for like $90 instead of $150 on Facebook Marketplace. So I got a really good deal on it. And then also, uh, the only piece that was actually missing and or broken 
was the intake piece, the intake cover, which I ended up just buying a 3D printed replacement for like $11 on Amazon, and now everything's working on it. The impeller is in perfect condition, and so is everything else. And so uh, I think really the only problem with it is it does have three years of wear and tear on it. But uh, besides that, it's in great condition. Thanks for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, go check out my TikTok and Instagram for high-quality footage and photos in the description down below. See ya! Enjoyed it. And as they say in the line of TV, good night, folks.